In this video, we're going to talk about linearization. Now, the concept of linearization is the following. If my x values are very close to a, then I can zoom into this picture into a small box that's very close to the point of contact. Inside this box, where the x values are very close to a, the height of the function is approximately equal to the height of the tangent line. Of course, the height of the tangent line is given by the equation of the tangent line, and that's what this expression is on the right-hand side. The equation of the tangent line is the equation of a line. As you can see, the m value, or the slope, is f prime of a, and then we have our x naught y naught, which is a comma f of a, which is our point on the line. This is what is referred to as linear linearization. The equation of the tangent line is also known as L of x, L standing for linearization. As long as we're very close to x equals a, we can approximate the function by a straight line or a linear function. So we have linearized the function f of x using the tangent line. The whole point of linearization is that the height of the function itself, which is the white graph here, is approximately the same as the height of the tangent line. As long as your x values are very close to a or very close to the point of contact. Let's do an example. The wording used here is as follows. Use linearization in order to estimate ln of 0.95. Now this is sort of the mathy terminology. Here's my English translation. What this really means is we're going to find the equation of the tangent line and then we're going to use that tangent line in order to estimate ln of 0.95. Here's how we do it. The first step is that you look at the number that you're estimating and you determine what is my f of x and what is my x equals a. x equals a should be the point of contact for the tangent line and it's not 0.95 in this case. The function f of x is ln and the point of contact for us will be x equals 1. What you do here is you want to look at 0.95 and ask yourself the question, what's a number that's very close to 0.95 but it's a nice number? number or a number that's easy to take the ln of. The answer to that is x equals 1. ln of 1 is equal to 0. ln of 1 is a great number that everybody should know in this class. ln of 0 0.95 should be pretty close to ln of 1. So that's how you determine the a value. And these are all steps that you're going to have to do yourself without being told. Of course, I'm telling you in the video, but on an exam or on the homework, it's just going to say use linearization in order to estimate. Okay, you got to know the steps that you have to execute. Let me just run through the rest of the steps. What we're going to do is we're going to find the equation of the tangent line for ln of x at x equals 1. That's going to be our step 2. And then finally, step 3 is we're going to use the equation of the tangent line in order to estimate the desired value of ln of 0.95. The way that's going to work is that instead of plugging 0.95 into the function f into the ln function, instead of doing that, we're going to plug it into the tangent line. Okay, so first we need to find the tangent line, but that's the process. Alrighty, let's look at our picture here. Our function is the ln function. Of course, remember, that's going to change with every single problem. If I was doing the square root of 0.95, then I'd be dealing with the square root function. If I was doing e 0.95, then I would be using the e function. Okay, you got to look at whatever quantity you're estimating and just look at whatever function is being used. In this example, it's the ln function. And again, the x value or the x equals a value, the point of contact for the tangent line, is not 0.95. It's supposed to be a number close to 0.95 that's a nice number that's easy to plug in ln of 1. ln of 1 is equal to 0. We all know that in this class. So x equals 1 should be our point of contact. Now we just need to find the equation for this tangent line. And of course, the slope is going to be the derivative with x equals 1 plugged into it, and the x naught y naught is going to be 1 comma f of 1. So let's find all these quantities here and find our equation of the tangent line. Now here's the work that we need to do. Our f of x is ln. Our first derivative is 1 over x. If I plug in x equals 1 into the function, I get ln of 1, which is 0. That's the whole reason why we picked x equals 1, because it's easy to plug into the function. f prime of 1 is going to be 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. Okay, so we're figuring out what these numbers are, 
in our equation of the tangent line. Putting everything together, we've got the slope of the tangent line is 1, the x naught y naught, the point on the line, is 1 comma 0, and here we've just simplified a little bit, and this is the equation of the tangent line. Check it out, if you look at the picture, that's actually plausible based on my picture, right? The x minus 1 line would have slope 1 and y intercept negative 1. It looks like my picture is not too bad actually. Now comes the magic. Okay, what are we doing here? My actual x value that I want to estimate in this problem is 0.95. Of course, that's very, very close to the point of contact, which means that instead of plugging 0.95 into the function, I can instead plug it into the equation of the tangent line. So my ln function is very close to the function x minus 1. As long as my x values are very close to the point of contact, this approximation is true. So let's do it. Let's plug in 0.95 into the equation of the tangent line. Here we get 0.95 minus 1. That's very easy to calculate on your own with no calculator. And so here we have estimated with no calculator using only linearization and calculus concepts. We've estimated that the ln of 0.95 is approximately negative 0.05. Why don't you check that out with the calculator? See how close we actually came. The actual value of ln of 0.95 is something like negative 0.051, etc. So we got pretty close by using the equation of the tangent line. Again, the process here is that you, first you determine what function you're looking at. Here it's ln of x. Then you determine the point of contact. That's not 0.95. It should be close to 0.95 and some kind of nice number that's going to be easy to deal with. In our case, x equals one. That's the point of contact on our tangent line. Now we find the equation of the tangent line using the first derivative for the slope and the a comma f of a for the point on the line. We get the equation of the tangent line. Now instead of plugging 0.95 into the ln function, we plug 0.95 into the tangent line because the tangent line is very close to the actual function, which is a very easy calculation to do. So I hope that you'll challenge yourself and go look for more problems in the book. Check out the homework online and we'll see you in class soon.